If you're Asian and think to yourself that, oh, I'm okay, I'm not overweight, so I'm not gonna be at risk for type 2 diabetes, I need 10 seconds. Asians can develop type 2 diabetes at lower body weights than other groups, sometimes even at a normal BMI. Today, I'll show you why and what numbers you should watch out for and how to protect yourself starting this week. My name is Charmaine and I'm the registered dietitian who helps people reverse type 2 diabetes. And today we'll cover the science behind Asian diabetes risk, the lower BMI standards you should use, and practical steps, diet, movement, and monitoring to stay ahead of it. For most populations, doctors call overweight at 25 BMI, but in Asian populations, health risks start earlier. That's why global and U.S. experts highlight BMI 23 as a key screening point for Asians. In fact, the American Diabetes Association recommends screening starting at a BMI of 23 rather than 25 if you are Asian. So why the special cutoff? Because at the same BMI, Asians tend to carry more body fat and visceral fat, the kind of fat that sits in your organs and drives insulin resistance. That's part of the so-called thin fat phenotype, normal weight on the outside, but higher fat inside, or they call metabolically overweight inside. So what's happening under the hood? Higher visceral fat and ectopic fat, which means fat stored in the liver and around the heart, can impair insulin sensitivity. This affects insulin's ability to move glucose from the blood into the cells. Studies in South Asian and East Asian groups show more liver and pericardial fat even at lower BMI, which helps explain earlier insulin resistance. There's another layer. In East Asians, beta cell function, which is the pancreas ability to produce insulin, often contributes to more diabetes risks than other groups. It's been found that in the setting of insulin resistance, East Asian are more prone to impaired beta cell function at an earlier stage compared to other groups. For many Asian populations, risk categories shift downwards. For example, it's been recommended that at a BMI of 23, Asians should start diabetes screening. And if your BMI is at 23 to 27.4, it's already at an elevated risk window. And if your BMI is over 27.5, you are already at high risk if you are Asian, according to different W. WHO standards. WHO is World Health Organization. And these ranges were created differently because different ethnicity at the same BMI may have different risks and level of fat percentage. Waist size also matters as well. Waist circumference and weight to height ratio can flag risk even if BMI looks normal. And research shows that some Asian groups may carry the thin fat pattern from youth influenced by early life nutrition and growth. Now, what does this mean for you who are Asian? Here's a practical, evidence-informed checklist. Number one, make sure you screen earlier. I think everyone should get screening for type 2 diabetes. However, if you are at a BMI of 23 or higher, you must ask your clinician for screening for your A1C, fasting glucose, fasting insulin, or oral glucose tolerance test, and especially if you have a family history of diabetes. Number two, track the right metrics. Don't over-rely on BMI. Also consider your waist circumference and your A1C or even have a short-term CGM to see your post-meal blood sugar spikes. Number three, reduce ectopic fat. Changing your diet to a higher fiber diet, lower saturated fat diet can help change the ectopic fat. So even if you're not fat outside, if you are fat inside your organs, having a high fiber diet can help you tackle this problem. Make sure you limit highly processed foods, especially highly processed meat, because that is actually one of the ultra processed foods that increase risk for type 2 diabetes the most. Make sure you build more muscles, move often, and get enough sleep. Sleep is so important for glucose regulation. Aim for at least seven to eight hours of sleep and have great stress management it will also help you balance your blood sugars as well. So quick question. If you're asking, hey, I'm Asian and I have a BMI of 22, am I safe? Not automatically. BMI is one clue, the family history, waist size, blood test, and lifestyle all matter. And also if you're asking, does this apply to all groups of Asians? Now the answer is, risk varies by different groups. For example, some data show that South Asians face particularly high diabetes prevalence and more abdominal and liver fat at lower BMI, while East Asians show more beta cell limits. Asians can face type 2 diabetes at lower BMIs because of more visceral or ectopic fat at a given weight, and there's differences also in insulin secretion as well. Make sure you apply the checklist that I mentioned to stay on track and improve your insulin sensitivity. If this helps, 
helped, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe so more people can see this video and get checked early and prevent diabetes in the long run. And if you want to learn how you can reverse type 2 diabetes or reverse pre-diabetes, make sure you watch my free reversing diabetes training. Link is in the description below and I'll see you guys there.